First tonight, new insight on a missing woman killed in a home. Tonight, a witness telling us she heard someone arguing with that woman just moments before she was killed. This all happened in South Fulton County. Channel 2's Ashley Lincoln live there tonight after speaking with the witness who gave you some potential insight on what could have led to this. That's right, Justin. A neighbor tells me she was just out for a walk that day where she saw the victim arguing with the suspect. And she says when she saw the suspect get physical with the victim, that's when she called 911. But she says police never came. She was so sweet, so nice. A life, family, and friends of 30-year-old Deontay Jones says was cut short. For somebody you know, to do that to such a positive person, it's just... It's hard. Everybody's hurt by it. Jones was found shot to death in this home in South Fulton on Sable Chase Lane late Saturday night. In the quiet town of Fairburn, Georgia, a tragic series of events began with the mysterious disappearance of Tiante T.K. Jones. Tiante, a 30-year-old woman known for her bright personality, went missing on a Thursday. Her family was worried when they hadn't heard from her. They reported her missing, which started a desperate search that would end in heartbreaking tragedy. Tiante was last seen on March 24th, and by Friday, her Jeep was discovered abandoned in the Stable Chase subdivision, close to her ex-boyfriend Kenneth Southern's house. This discovery brought fear and urgency to the search, as those who loved her began to suspect that something terrible had happened. It was a completely normal day for Tiante, until somehow it ended with her life callously taken from her. Fairburn police first visited Kenneth Southern's house on Friday, but found no trace of Tiante or her Jeep. It wasn't until Saturday night, at around 11 p.m., that officers from the city of South Fulton Police Department found Tiante's body inside her ex-boyfriend Southern's home. She had been shot, and the investigation quickly turned into a homicide case. Kenneth Southern, a 43-year-old man with a troubled past and a history of domestic violence issues with Tiante, was immediately identified as the prime suspect. Their relationship had been tumultuous, marked by arguments and conflict. The investigation continued as authorities pieced together the final moments of Tiante's life. She had dropped off her boyfriend, Will Brantley, at work on the morning of her disappearance and was supposed to pick him up that evening. When she didn't show up, Brantley and her family knew something was wrong. They tracked her phone to the woods off Derrick Road, where searchers later found her car. This led them to Southern's house, where Tiante was found deceased. A neighbor on Sable Chase Lane recounted the disturbing scene she witnessed not long before the tragic murder. The neighbor described how she had seen Jones's Jeep parked in front of the home, but when she passed by later, the Jeep was gone. She said that she could hear people arguing only moments before the deadly shooting. The neighbor, who did not want to be identified, said she called 911 several times when she witnessed the male individual getting physical with Jones. The chilling words that she heard Tiante Jones say to Kenneth Southern truly shines a light on how horrifying of a situation she found herself in. The neighbor stated that she could remember Tiante saying, This my house. Get out of my house, this my stuff. Just leave. She also said that she saw Kenneth Southern grabbing her, trying to reach for her with his right arm, and she jerked back away from him. Tiante T.K. Jones, a beloved member of the Fairburn community, was known for her vibrant personality and was an active member of the local club, Atlanta Jeep Life. Jones's disappearance mobilized the close-knit community. On Thursday, her friend Mia Hodrick organized a search party comprising dozens of members from the Jeep Club. They scoured the area, holding on to hope that their friend would be found safe. Unfortunately, their efforts initially yielded no results, and anxiety continued to mount. The breakthrough came on Saturday night when officers from the city of South Fulton Police Department responded to a call on Sable Chase Lane and made the grim discovery inside the home, Tiante Jones dead from a gunshot wound. The realization that their worst fears had come true cast a pall over the community. As the investigation unfolded, police identified the suspect, 43-year-old Kenneth Southern. Southern, who was known to have a tumultuous relationship with Jones, had barricaded himself in the attic of the very home where Jones's lifeless body was found. The neighborhood was soon swarmed with law enforcement, including a SWAT team dispatched to negotiate Southern's surrender. When police went to Southern's home again on Sunday morning, they were met with a tense and dangerous situation. Negotiations dragged on, filled with tension and uncertainty. Southern was defiant, refusing to come out. As hours passed, the situation grew increasingly dire. The air was thick with the anticipation of what might happen next. 
neighbors watched from their windows, fearful and anxious, while the SWAT team strategized their next move. Southern ended the standoff by The sound of the gunshot reverberated through the still night, marking the departure of an evil murderer from this world, a man who left behind immense sorrow and devastation. Tiante Jones was only 30 years old. She had her whole life ahead of her until it was senselessly snatched away forever by a violent, disturbed, immature man. The depraved killer, who had taken such an innocent, beautiful soul, would never have the opportunity to hurt anyone else, but by himself he would also never face the consequences for this heinous crime. Friends and family gathered to honor Tiante's memory, remembering her as a vibrant and kind-hearted individual who had touched many lives. Her family, friends, and community, forever changed by her loss, continues to mourn and remember her as a beacon of light gone too soon. Jones was found shot to death in this home in South Fulton on Sable Chase Lane late Saturday night. It's sad. Thursday, Jones's friend Mia Hodrick helped mobilize dozens, a part of the club Atlanta Jeep Life, to search for Jones after she was reported missing. Jones was a proud member of the organization. When we didn't hear anything the first day, everybody was already on it. I know for a fact I called police about nine times. This neighbor, who didn't want to be identified, told me she overheard Jones arguing with who police have identified as 43-year-old Kenneth Southern. I remember her saying, this is my house. You know, just get out, get out of my house. This is my house, this is my stuff, just leave. She says when she saw Southern get physical with Jones, that's when she called police. I can remember him grabbing her with his, you know, trying to reach for her with his right arm and she like jerked back. Neighbors said police never came. And she said, well, if it's not life threatening right now, we don't have an officer. The neighbor says she walked past the house sometime after that call and saw the Jeep was gone. It was a Jeep when I came out the first time that was out there, but when I came back around, it wasn't no Jeep there. Saturday, Jeep Life members and Jones's family returned to the home where they found both her body and the Jeep inside. The garage, we did open it and it was right there. Once police arrived, they found Southern hiding in the attic. After a standoff with the SWAT team, police say Southern... This is a life that I felt like could have been saved. If they would have answered the call... And a family member, we also found out that that family member was able to ping her cell phone and they found her cell phone several miles away from that home in a wooded area off a busy highway. Reporting live in South Fulton, Ashley Lincoln for WSB Tonight. That phone could provide a lot of information in that case. Thank you, Ashley. was a genuine go-getter, and her death is being described as a really big loss for the community. Those are just some of the words people are using to describe Teante Jones, who was found dead in her ex-boyfriend's house over the weekend. Brittany Kleinpeter joining us outside of Fairburn Police Headquarters. Brittany, that ex-boyfriend also dead. Tell us about the moments leading up to this and what the community is saying about her life. Aisha, police here at headquarters have had a long few days and they still have more ahead of them as they try to put together the details of what exactly happened. But they do know that she was found at the home of her ex-boyfriends on Saturday and Sunday was when they ultimately confronted that ex-boyfriend. But hours after all of that yesterday, dozens of friends and family members gathered to honor and remember TK by releasing balloons. Those that knew her say she was passionate about Fairburn and the loss of her life is truly devastating. You'll be so happy that everybody is coming together, working together and building this community. That's what she wanted. That's what she was fighting for. She really touched every last person in here and this is a big loss. It is a really big loss for our community. Police say that TK was reported missing Thursday. She was found dead on Saturday. And then after a long standoff yesterday, her ex-boyfriend in his attic. Cheryl. All right, Brittany Klein-Peter reporting. Thanks, Brittany.